to surprise um, Father Hardin, if you could stand up, please. Some of you may know that today is his 73rd birthday. So, <laughs> so we cannot let the evening pass without singing happy birthday to Father Hardin. This particular parent appreciation banquet has been here in this facility at Martin University for the past, what, five, six, five? For quite some time, and thanks to you. So happy birthday to Father Hardin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Father Martin. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Now on to the program. I know you all noticed um, that one of the major events here is conferring the honorary doctorate to Imam Muhammad this evening. And so we're about to do that portion of the program, and I know a lot of people have cameras, but for this portion of the program, only those authorized to take pictures do so during that time. We don't want to mess up those official pictures with other flashes, so if you would not mind not taking pictures unless you're authorized during this portion of the program. Father Hart. Thank you very much for the greetings, and I also give praise to my parents, my mother and father, because uh, they were surprised that the firstborn died at birth, and so I came along and they had to pull me out. So I, I, I really celebrate my parents today too, so I, that's what I do on this day. So thank you very much for your greetings. I give praise to them. So assalamu alaikum. It's always wonderful to have you here because I feel that if the world could just see us and see what happened tonight with Christians and Jews and, and Catholics and maybe some people and Muslims and some people are not anything. We are ready to be converted, Imam. <laughs> so we have the great example that you've shown us and so we're going to say some things and I, I'm, I'm having a little introductory piece here which otherwise I won't get to say but I usually bring to mind to all the men about your PSA I'm a cancer survivor and I, uh, I'm three years and eight months out so I want to remind all of you it, it, I want you to go get and talk to the doctor. Sometimes you got to ask the doctor would tell you your PSA is okay. Don't take it. Tell him, give me my number. If you are above four, you're in trouble. I have, my father had it. I had it, the cancer. I have a brother who's just finishing his uh, radiation. I got another brother. So it's in the family. It doesn't have to be just with the men, but the, but the cancer can be crossed over to the women. So when your, your man goes back to the doctor, go back with him because he's scared to death. Okay, go back with him. And when you take your wife, go back with her and hold her hand because she gets scared too. So let's, let's conquer this cancer thing by detection. So whenever you come, y'all, those of you who've been here before, you know I'm going to talk. I got to talk about cancer. Okay, if I just save but one person's life. It's worth the comment. So uh, I, the last preliminary comment it will be is that we are the only predominantly black institution in, in, in Indiana. And there are 32 schools in Indiana and we're the only one that's predominant. You say, well, what difference does it make? Well, it's focus and we are serving the poor, uh, minorities, primarily African Americans, Adult learners, the average age is 40, in a healing and freedom-minded environment. We're not free yet, you know. You know what I mean? We're not free yet. We still got to work on it. And um, so, uh, so this program that I'm, I'm going to get into it now, uh, in making the honorary doctor. Normally, we have academic gowns and stuff, and. It just wouldn't work tonight. We're not going to have that tonight. So we're going to have, we're going to be ourselves. And, um, um, and, and it'll be, it's three parts. The first part, there's some, some nice words that are said by four of us. That would be myself, Sister Jane, who is the vice president of faculty, and Mikhail Sahir. And if you all please come and uh, 
Brother John Walsh, uh, if you please step forward and be up here with me as we say our words and we should stay here. And then the second part is the reading of the academic degree and then uh, the bestowal of the medallion which will follow the reading of the academic degree. So I will now say my words. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Requital. Thee do we serve and thee do we beseech for help. Beloved community, we are honored and blessed that you are here today at Martin University to celebrate this special moment with, with Imam. There is much I wish to say about our Honorable W. Dean Muhammad, but I will restrain myself because the time and our honoree will not allow it. <laughs> However, I ask exception to three reasons why Imam Muhammad is most worthy to receive an honorary doctor. First, he is knowledgeable about human beings. He knows we are limited, frail, and weak, but he does not allow us to be quitters. He does not allow us to stop struggling or to make excuses for failing as a people or an individual to reverence and love each other. Secondly, Imam is not only a believer, but a student of the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible. And as a theologian, he practices what he preaches. He is humble and prayerful in the sight of Allah. Thirdly, Imam, you have shown us not only what we need to say, but what we need to do to be true servants of the Divine One's will. Finally, you honor us by accepting this honorary doctorate from Martin University. And your picture will hang in our Hall of Excellence to remind us of our need to be transformed. And we thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My dear Imam Dean Mohammed. Talk into the microphone. Is that better? My dear Imam W. D. Muhammad, in behalf of the faculty of Martin University and as Vice President of Academic Affairs, I wish to acknowledge you as a person of letters, a scholar with wisdom, a leader with truth, not just for being so called but because you are our Imam, you have all of these qualities, prayer, scholarly, and wise. It also honors Allah, who has created you for all of us. With the name of God, the merciful benefactor, merciful redeemer. It is indeed a great honor to be a small part of such a significant occasion, the conferment of the honorary doctorate degree of Islamic thought upon my leader and your leader, Imam W. D. Muhammad. After this evening, I can humbly say that I and Imam Muhammad have a degree from the same school, <laughs> Martin University. <clears throat> Father Barnford Harden, a wise leader and successful educator, is a man of God. History has proven that people of faith are kindred, regardless of their religious affiliations and labels. This doctorate degree that is being presented tonight is further proof of that ecumenical and universal connectiveness. Imam W. D. Muhammad represents a special intellect, a special blessing from our Creator for the benefit of all people. As is stated in the Holy Quran, the best of you is the one who is most mindful and regardful of God. This honorary doctorate degree of Islamic thought 
is a testimony to the values that Imam Muhammad has demonstrated in his life. He has followed the noble life model of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by promoting and exemplifying interfaith with many faith traditions, making himself transparent so that humanity can witness the essence of his soul. That is Al-Islam at its finest. Imam W.D. Muhammad, the son of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, has worked diligently for the renewal of the human spirit and the revival of the human soul. We thank God for him. And we thank Father Reverend Imam Bonfis Harden <laughs> for recognizing Imam Muhammad. And we thank you for being a witness to this historical conferring of the honorary doctor degree of Islamic thought upon email W.D. Muhammad. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Tonight, Martin University is honoring Imam W.D. Muhammad, a man uh, for whom I personally have the greatest respect and affection. As many of you know, I love him with my heart, and he's my Imam also. <laughs> I sometimes describe uh, Imam Muhammad as the Vatican II of Islam. What I mean is that Vatican II helped the Catholic Church set aside a lot of cultural baggage that had been picked up over the centuries by focusing the faithful on the essence of their, their faith, their Catholic faith. Many like myself were renewed in their spiritual life and commitment. In Imam Muhammad, I see a very similar Quran centered focus being given to our Muslim brothers and sisters. It gives us great, it gives great vitality to their life in Islam. And all we need to do is to look around this room at the beautiful families of Islam and we understand what I'm saying. I have some wonderful memories over the years with Imam Muhammad and one, for example, is I remember being in St. Peter's Square when uh, Pope John Paul II had a, uh, a gathering of the great religions of the world. And there were, I believe there were 400,000 people there. And there were five people that were chosen to speak on this program. And one of them was our Imam W.D. Muhammad to speak on his name. <laughs> on the same trip, uh, we visited St. Peter's Basilica. And as we walked in the Basilica, I mean, it was Imam and the brothers, and of course I was tagging along, as I'm known to do. So we walked into the basilica, and I'm thinking, in Islam, it's really quite offensive to have paintings of people, images, in a place of worship. And of course, in St. Peter's, there isn't a square inch that isn't painted with something. So Imam looks around, I remember, and his comment was, Look at these paintings. Think how much these artists must have loved God. That's what he said. I also remember afterwards we were out on the steps of St. Peter's and we had box lunches and Imam was there with the brothers and people were asking questions and he was teaching them and I was thinking, you know, I bet this is the way it was when the prophet was with us. As a member of the Focolari movement, I know that Kiara Lubick would ask that I extend her deepest greetings and congratulations to Imam Muhammad.
Thank you, John, Mika Sahir. And now, Imam, we ask that you come forward, please, to the podium. And Mansoor Sadiq, if you'll please return. I want to say that, that I don't know if there's been a, a, a doctorate conferred in, in this name. We looked across the world and, and, uh, and uh, Brenda Shaheed, my vice president, helped me to research that out. And we came upon that this is what many of the Muslim uh, Islamic universities give to those they honor. So if you please step up, Imam, as I read this. To all who may read these words, greetings. Martin University, in acknowledgment of the honored community of letters, science, arts, and the professions, by affirmation of the faculty and the president, and with the authority of the Board of Trustees, in recognition of distinction hereby confers upon Imam W. Dean Muhammad, the honorary degree Doctor of Islamic Thought. In testimony whereof this diploma is inscribed, sealed with the seal of the university, signed by the president and attested by the chair of, of the Board of Trustees. In Annapolis, Indiana, Virginia R. Goodwin, Chair, Board of Trustees, Reverend Boniface Harden, President. Um, I don't know whether we're going to call you Imam Doctor or <laughs> Doctor Imam, but, but we're going we're gonna to love, love you whichever which way you want to be. And so now we, we're going to put around his neck with the help of Mansoor Sadiq, an emblem uh, which he designed, and instead of the beautiful, and Fair. we couldn't get the. See if I can say it right. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulallah. I'm close, all right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, the, the, it wouldn't transcribe, and it's, it's, it's there real secretly, uh, Imam, so it, it, it wouldn't transfer over. So we thought best that, uh, so we're going to have that. I like that you promised me I wouldn't be choked by it. No, 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 no you're not going to be choked by it. Yes, we, we're going to try to get you. So, so let's, let's, let's put this on. Let's let the emblem be on the front. Okay, you do that. There we go. There we go. It's going to be just fine. It's going to be just fine. That's great. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, just hold on. Let's take it down. Takbir! 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 There you go. Okay. Just say a few words and, and, and you will carry this down. For me. Yeah. And you will be yeah. <laughs> Peace be unto you. Thank you. Peace be unto you. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful occasion here. Immediately, or instantly, I saw Father Hardy, and I have loved him ever since. He's a very special man. And <clears throat> and this bestowal of this doctorate degree, honorary doctorate degree, on me. It touches my heart very deeply. Of course, it's recognizing me as a thinker among scholars in Islam. Yes, sir. I appreciate this recognition so much. <clears throat> I have to mention Kier Lubick. I wish she could be present here this evening with us. We pray for her health and her good life and long years every day. And I want to send my greetings 
of love to her through you, members of the folklore. God be with us always, and let us continue to be family, and not just family in our private homes, but let us really do a better job there. Let us be family in the family of mankind, especially with the people of faith. We are one. Peace be unto you. As-salamu alaykum.